This is not just closing a school, it's break, the breaking up of a family. When you talk about these students and the relationships they have with the teacher, the principal, the, uh, the security guards, and even the community partners. You look at the Calwood Hall of Fame, it's the who's who of Cleveland. Emotions running high in Northeast Ohio as two high schools that have been pillars of the community for decades could soon merge. Good evening, I'm Russ Mitchell. I'm Betsy Kling. Sarah is off tonight. The Cleveland School District is proposing to close Collinwood High School and merge it with Glenville as part of a huge consolidation plan. Here's how it will break down. Collinwood is the only major community high school that would close under this plan. Five other smaller specialized high school buildings would close, their programs merging with others. Five elementary schools would also close. The soonest this would come to a vote by the school board is November 19th. So, how are these communities and alumni, with all their history, taking this news? And what's next for families with questions? Dorsina Drakeford is here with that part mm -hmm. of the story. Dorsina. And you guys can imagine, there are a lot of mixed emotions here. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot going on and there's a lot involved. But of course, there is history associated with Collinwood. But both presidents of either alumni association say overall, it is about the children. Well, I can understand why Glenville would be happy, but you can understand probably why the people in the Collinwood area might not be happy. The president of Collinwood High's Alumni Association knows it's a big decision. Two schools holding history in their own right, but one option to do what's best for the kids. Back when it was built in the 1930s, it was the flagship school of not only of the Cleveland education system, but this part of the country. But years later, dwindling population is leaving thousands of empty seats, meaning change has to be next on the lesson plan. Something Sharon Dozier from Glenville High's Alumni Association couldn't be happier about. We have been waiting to hear the outcome, and I know our councilman is happy, our students are happy, and I am ecstatic. She says it's not about a school rivalry. The real competition is what students will face outside of the classroom. Our students have been lacking in a lot of their extracurricular activities, such as vocation. And, and we are happy to know that they're going to be bringing some of that to Glenville. Cleveland School CEO Eric Gordon says music and advanced placement courses will be available to more students, but people in the community see a broader issue. The energy and morale is down. I mean, people are sad when you, when you think about this. It's not just closing a school, it's bre the breaking up of a family. I mean, you got plenty of resources there. Maybe we look to using it in, in, a, in a new way, in a better way to serve the community. And you can tell there the community is divided on this one. But we're going to find out more as the process rolls on, Betsy. Well, I have to wonder, at some point, the community is going to get to say something. Of course, and they have a lot to say. I'm so sure. the first meeting that you could actually go to is tomorrow. It's going to be at 10 a.m. at Jane Addams Business Career Center. And the other will be at 1.30 at James Ford Rhodes High School. These are both tomorrow, and that information is on your screen. Well, two schools into one. One big pot of resources. Hopefully they'll be able to do something with that. Let's hope so. Thanks, Dorsina. Mm -hmm.